Okie doke. Part two. Here we go. All right. Let me get on my perch here. And belly up to the bar here. Oh. Okay. So this is, you know, continued kind of like my hauls. I'm just uh, pulling out of the bag and uh, skipping around on my, um, on my journey here. So this was the place that we had our whiskey tasting. So we had the little, little cups. We just tasted three kinds. We weren't like boozing it up. I mean, we had the special little whiskey glasses, you know, the little funky shaped and, you know, barely eating in the bottom. So it was a lot of educational stuff. This is, I don't know where my bag is. I, oh, my bag that this came in from Sarah. There was actually two Sarah Clarks, Sarah Clarks <laughs> there. Sarah Clark, Sarah and Renee Clark um, that made the cube and then Sarah Clark, the creative professional. And you'll see me in a lot of pictures with her. Uh, another phenomenal lady. Uh, so she had a little bag that she made or supplemented on sublimation. Um, anyway, that was really cute. And then this was in there. I hope nothing broke. No. So this was her like little little fun kit. Lord knows I need this. So a little lotion. Look at these. Oh my gosh. I've never seen these before. Little Tic Tacs. I mean, how cute is that? And then a little lip gloss. Or a little chapstick, I should say. Oh, coconut with vitamin E. Chap lip lip balm. Thank you. So that just fits snugly in there. And then that just attaches to um, something in your purse or whatever. But that's not going anywhere, let me tell you. Anyway, that's so cute. And then, oh, here we go. Sarah Clark, Creative Professional. Sarah's Studio Create. Sarah's Create Studio. And I'll link her information below. So there's her. Is it a focus, maybe? QR code? And then... Her pen. Love that. And then this is so stinking cute. Drinks well with others. And I've never seen these before. How cute is I mean that is this is the real thing. Is that not cute? Oh my goodness. You know I'm gonna have to rearrange my desk to put my little trinkets because uh, when I look at them it just makes me smile. I'm gonna put this in my little book here. So, yeah, I'm going to have to do some rearranging. Put all the things that make me smile up here. All right. Let's see. This is a cup from Craft Express. Oh, my goodness. I, you know, I'm not into the sublimation and all of that stuff, which I know so many people are. I mean, a lot of my friends are. And it's phenomenal. I just haven't gone down that road. And please tell me no. I don't need to get into anything else. Um, no, 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 no. But Aaron did an extensive interview with uh, Vic at, oh my gosh, and y'all have to watch this video. It is hilarious. I mean, I never laughed so hard. They are so good together. Vic is just phenomenal. But anyway, inventor, um, Craft Express, and the ovens, the machines, the all that stuff. I learned more about this than I cared to. But now it's like, oh my gosh, the little oven that they have to bake you can do sublimation, you know, put this, you people that know what I'm talking about, you put the paper around and then there's a plastic film you put over, shrink it. You can put it in the oven and let it bake. Um, um, what are they? Uh, um, photo, the clay, like they were making jewelry and stuff. You put it, there's all, anyway, the oven look was so cute. Oh my gosh. Anyway, go check out that video with um, Craft Express. But anyway, so he made this and this little cup and yeah. So, Craft Express, check them out. Okay, and I need your help. Okay, so in the box, it, you know, came with this, and it came with this. What do you do with this? Am I missing something? I don't understand. You can't drink out of it. So tell me what this is for. How do you use it? Because I don't know. I mean, is it like a koozie? I, and there's no instructions. So... All my smart people out there, tell me what that's for so I can be a smart one. All right. And then Erin, oh my gosh, now known as my little sister. Um, this was her little survival kit. So she had these bags made. She designed them, had them made. So survival care kit Erin Reed makes. 
and her butterfly. There's her QR code. And then in hers, and I used mine too, some of it. So she has all kinds of little goodies. I mean, how cute is this? So there is um, ibuprofen. There's those little Tic Tacs. There is dental floss. I love how it's all individually wrapped. Anti-acid. Um, Orbit. Oh, little Orbit's gums. Oh my gosh. Hand sanitizer. I mean, is this not phenomenal? Uh, sometimes things get tough. We're together. Oh, together. Oh, we're we're tougher. Oh my gosh! Look, I can't even read. Sometimes things get tough. We're tougher. You're tougher. Oh my gosh! You can tell I'm tired. But look, it's a little card you can write on. Sometimes things get tough. You're tougher. <sighs> I'm just a babbling idiot right now. Uh, Band aid, which I used, and then oh, the vitamin C, energy C. Oh, I'll probably need those tomorrow get through work. Anyway, y'all know when I get excited, I get all uh, tongue-tied and uh, yeah, all that. But isn't that cute? I mean, that's a really cute idea. So anyway, um, and you know that's going to go in my scrapbook. Well, not the stuff inside of it, but all right, let me scooch down here. Get these out because this is something I got from the store. All right, and then when we went to one of the parties, of course, Mardi Gras, our <laughs> Our flash and more, or you can make it do that, or you can make it stay on, or you can turn it off. Is that not fun? Okay, turn them off. So I'll put those with my other beads hanging up, and and then jelly roll. Nice little cup. This would be a great tea mug, would it not? I mean, that's a good size. Usually I make my really big ones, but that's nice for a like a small glass of tea, cup of tea, whatever. Has a little spout right there. That's isn't that cool looking? All right. Then okay, I'm skipping around. I'm gonna have to get this up here so I can scooch back up. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I can do this. Okay. Sorry, I'm bumping you. All right, there we go. All right. So I had to bring back some souvenirs. Um, some of them I can't show you because AJ already took them, but. I had to get a little voodoo doll. <laughs> this is a little angel voodoo, guardian angel. Um, and, and it says, I will turn your fortunes around and make every day worth living. Guardian angel. Isn't that cute? And look, she has little angel wings, a little halo, a little bell. Is that not cute? And then that says the same thing. But I just thought that was super cute. And then, I know she's not watching because she doesn't watch my videos. I got my best friend Ginger, which you guys know I talk about her all the time. So I got her best friend's voodoo doll. And it says, I will help you and your BFF laugh at random things and make weird faces together. Best friends. Is that not cute? I just love that. And then I got um, AJ one and it's um, a little voodoo doll and she has a mask on with feathers and a little dress and it says um, it's... Um, celebration something about celebration and it says um that this voodoo doll will help you to remember that every occasion is worth celebrating or to celebrate every occasion something like that and it, i just thought that was super cool because i think everything should be celebrated right let me put that in there so i won't bother you okay um this is silhouette secrets creator instructor maker um is this this is Swift. I think this is Silhouette Secrets. Um, I think this is. Uh, I think this is Ellie Mae. Anyway, I'll I'll find out. But that's super cute. And then bags, of course. Uh -oh, something fell. That's what it was. And then the official. Let me see if I can get it out here. NAMTA 2024 New Orleans Creativation by NAMTA Building Creative Partnerships. That was the theme for this year. Anyway, this is a nice big bag. And then on the back, Arteza. Love Arteza. And oh my goodness, <clears throat> you have got to watch that video because there is some of the coolest stuff I have ever seen with Arteza. Let me just say. And then Uniquely Creative, their bag. 
And this is, oh, the Crafter's Workshop. Mixed media and stencils. That's a cool bag. I'm a bag lady. All right, let's see here. Oh, I'll show you that last. Or next to last. Okay, and then we went around to these, like I said, all of these wonderful companies. And then we went to Crafter's Companion. And they have some really new cool stuff out that, oh my goodness, a couple of new lines that are coming out here in the next month or so. And they have partnered up with, I believe it's Warner Brothers, one of the big major companies. And so they're actually producing um, the uh, Wonder Woman, Batman, Robin, all of them, their kits that you can get that have the markers that you need, instructions, and then the like the coloring pages. It is so cool. And then it's Harry Potter also. Oh my goodness. Yes. Anyway, really cool. Well, they had these bags and I can't, I mean, they're huge. Anyway, this is Crafter's Companion. This is um, easy to organize. This is one of the Totally Tiffany bags. And this is the bottom of it. So you could actually put your die machine, your die cutting machine in there, but this that's the bottom of it. And I am loving this. I mean, it's huge. Love the colors. So anyway, that was a freebie. And then, what do we have here? And then this is catalogs and stuff. Let's see. That's really not, that's kind of businessy stuff. Okay, so let's get to, let me pull these out. My classes that I went to. See, is there anything else in there from the classes? I think that's it from the classes. Okay, so I went to 49 and Market with Katie Pertit. She's a designer. And, oh my goodness. And Sizzix. She's just actually teamed up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, get down there. Uh, <laughs> she is teamed up with Sizzix, and there's Sizzix. Keep your eye on Sizzix. They are teaming up with a lot of awesome designers. Um, yeah. So this year, you're going to see a ton of new stuff from Sizzix. So this is 49 in Market by Katie Pertit. This is what her new, I mean, brand new, not even in the stores yet, um, one of the stamp sets. Can you see that? And I love these smushes, these swatches. Because, you know, we want to make those where if you're doing cards or junk journals or whatever, and a lot of us don't know how to do it. And so you can just stamp it. Is that not cool? And then, let's see, where's her other stamp set? I have got a gnat or something flying around here that I'm going crazy. It's buzzing me. So this is her other stamp set. She has several out. Brand new. Well, they're not out yet, but they will be coming, like, really quick. I think April, April or May. So these aren't just the butterflies. So they're the layering butterflies plus the dies. So you can stamp your butterflies. There's a large and small. And then you can color the whole thing in if you wanted to. There's pieces that you can color in. Or you can do that mixed media kind of thing. Where it's kind of... Yeah. And I'll show you on my little paper here. And then... Oh, this was a project. Of course, you don't have a whole lot of time. And it's a quickie. Not a real quickie, but... Okay, this was a card that we did. And we used masking, we used rub-ons. So here's the card. And then see the splotches? Though that's from a die. I mean, from a stamp. And then it celebrates from a stamp. These are rub-ons. And then there's a die that cut this out. And then there's the stamp. And then the splotches. Isn't that cool? So that's the card that I made. And then they have... These are actually masks. So you cut out with your die and then you peel this off see it's clear well, see it's clear <laughs> you can really see that anyway and then you put it down wherever you want and then you can work on your background and peel it up anyway we'll be working with this love 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 so here are some of oh let me show you this this is um, like just a mixed media card that you, I mean, you could use it as is. You could cut it up. You could cut a tag out of it. But it was just a white piece of paper. Uh, we use the Sizzix paints, which are wonderful, um, with a brayer. And that's what you would use your mask for. So you'd put your mask down. 
wherever you want, put those down, and then work on your background, and then peel this off, and you'll have this area that there's nothing on. Then I went back and stamped um, the butterflies and the color. This is a rub on, that's a rub on, rub on, rub on, rub on, rub on. So I just need to ink the edges and do a little bit more to it, and then it would be finished, but that was another project. And this is a new collection coming out. Get this, I don't get it everywhere. This is ochre. Look at that. Aren't those scrumptious? And this is um, part of it that was in there. I just cut different pieces off. So this is a new collection coming out. And then this is that masking film that we used. So it shows here, you can cut it out with your die. And then they placed it on this card and then worked on the background and then peeled that off and then it's all white or whatever color you want under it. So you get 10 sheets, it's clear. So it's masking film, that's what it's called. And then this was our instructions for the class. And then there's the card. That's nice that you get all this. And then we use the stamp platform. And there's a, if you don't know about the Sizzix stamp platform, I'll have it this week, which it's been out for a little while. I mean, like, I don't know, maybe a year or less. Um, but the Sizzix stamp platform and Sizzix just launched, never seen before, still not in the stores, is coming, I think, this month, April. It's an add on to, I think there was a picture of one of them. Yeah. Okay. This is the stamp platform. And it does stenciling and stamping, and I'll, I'll do a whole uh, video on it. But this part here that goes down in stamps, that comes off, and there's another piece that goes on, and it rotates. Super cool. Yeah, super, super cool. Um, I'll have this this week, this stamp platform, but the rotating part, I don't know. Like I said, we should be getting the next few weeks as far as the store. Erin um, took the Sizzix class, and so she has one. So everybody that took the class got the whole shoot and match. Got the stamp platform and the new rotating piece. So cool. I took different classes and I took some business classes and I didn't like the way they had them all set up because there were so many that overlapped that you really had to pick and choose what you wanted to do because one would, you know, quit at noon, but this one started at 1130 and it was just like, oh, you know, and a lot of that went on during the day. So I kind of didn't like that. Um, and then here's Maker's Tape. So this is a repositionable tape to take down your dies. That worked really well. And then we've got a, this is 49 and Market set of 12 note cards with envelopes. So there's the, the colors. And of course they match the ochre. So you get the, I don't know, kind of grayish green and then the ochre. So that was one class I went to. And like I said, Katie Bertie, the designer, love her. I've known her for a couple of years and she's been down to visit and uh, just a phenomenal lady. Actually, on my Facebook page, the big background picture, my favorite, my, I know I'm skipping around, my favorite flower of all time is ranunculus or ranunculus, depending on what part of the world you're from. Um, the UK, they say ranunculus and Oki Girl says ranunculus. Ranunculus? We'll say ranunculus. <laughs> Anyway, that's my favorite flower. So there's a picture of Katie holding out like this, this huge bouquet of ranunculus. You don't, you don't see her face or anything because it's this big bouquet, but that's where it came from. Actually, it was Katie Pratit, the designer. Um, I just, I haven't seen anything more beautiful and I had to post that. So um, anyway, she is a doll. Then the wild ride, Miss Dina Wakely. Oh my goodness. She was a wild ride. Oh, here's my Sizzix paint. Actually, I stuck it in the wrong thing. But this is the Sizzix paint. This has been out for a while. And this is really soft and creamy. I've, I've used it. And I'll be using it some more on my gel plate. But yeah, it's creamy, ac uh, creamy acrylic plate paint. Ooh. All right. So this was, and this took a little while. I'm going to have to glue that better. Um, this was just a little booklet that we made. This is watercolor paper. And we went through and made the background and see the, the very light and then we washed over it. There's a big process here. And then uh, her, the tissue papers with designs, but there's actually a way to make that disappear so it doesn't look like that white cutout like that. And then we bound it together. 
And this is some of her stamps, Dina's. And then I've got to fix that. And this is some of her acetate. So this was just a really quickly made book. Well, like I said, there was a lot of process. I mean, a lot of steps, but anyway, and then bound it together. So we have her, um, let's see, this is, yeah, this is Dina Wakely. So I think these are new colors. So we got a white, we got a, what is it called? Gel medium, which is a glue. And then this is sapphire and mustard. And then there was a pink one and another blue color. So we got kid A or kid B. And so your neighbor got the opposite that you did. And then you shared um, the paints for the project. We watered them down. We, oh, we did all kinds of stuff. So that was really interesting. And I'm sure I'll be doing this, making something with you guys. All right. And then this is her brand new. No, oh, come on. Scoot up here. Um, neon scribble sticks. So this it comes in a neat little tin, water, water soluble pigment sticks. And this is what they look like. Yes, they're bright. But as Simon Hurley said in one of his demos, when you see the neons like this, it's very intimidating. But when you see them one at a time, because the one of the trends is neon, let me tell you. When you see them one at a time and you add a little bit to your project, it makes all the difference in the world. Seeing them like this, you go, wow. You know, 80s, big hair, neon roller skates, whatever. And so we'll be doing some stuff. So I'll show you that um, adding a little bit of neon because Simon Hurley has some brand new pastes that are coming out that are neon. Yes. And again, I looked at them like I did these and went, whoa. But when you see samples, game changer. Um, oh, and so we had some of the, because we did some blending, so we had the little blending sponges. This is some of her tissue paper. There's another one. We cut out, tore out pieces. And then we made some tags on here. Little mixed media. Little tab, something stuck together. Little mixed media tags. And this was a process of this, that, and the other. I mean, it was a two-hour class. And this is some of her stamps that we stamped and then cut out. Oh, keep twirling them around. And then she has tags. Let me show you the stamp here. It's stuck. So this is Dina Wakely Media. So this is the stamp. And like um, uh, Tim Holtz, some of these are not weeded and for a reason, meaning you pull them apart like this. So these are little individual stamps. So when we did this, we weeded it. We pulled this off. And instead of taking each individual one and stamp it at a time, I left it on here, inked the whole thing up and stamped it all on my paper. And it worked just fine. And then this piece, you can see the white paint, we actually inked it up, painted it. And then we took these that were already painted and that's the image that we got. So I mean, Dina uses anything and everything on her uh, projects, let me tell you. That being said, we're all wondering why this was in our kit. And any guesses as to what it's used for? Why, why she put this in here? Because when you're, you know, you, you squirt your inks out on your um, craft map, and of course you have some left over, you take this lid and you ink it up and you use it to make circles. <laughs> yeah. So that's what this is for. I know. Isn't that crazy? And then here is, this is a stencil that we used. And then her acetate. So this one has words. And it's pretty thick. And then this one, which I know you can use it in any direction because there's no direction. And so you got two full sheets and then your um, neighbor, they got two full sheets, but they were different. And so what we did, we just cut them in half and shared. 
So that was a lot of fun. And then these are the ones that I stamped and then cut out. And then we got a little notepad. No, we didn't. We got a, it's a little card. And that's some of her art. Very cool. And then our instruction sheets. What is this? Um, oh, that's little Katie's. Katie Pertite. And of course, you know, because you get out of one class and you're running to another, or you got to run to the bathroom and then run to another class. And so anyway, I kind of threw everything together. But so here's instructions for this little book. And then this is, I think this was a tear apart. Or some quotes. Oh, these are quotes. These are just fun quotes that she put in there. Okay. So I'm not having a chance to look at all this. So all kinds of fun stuff. All right. So I think I have one more thing to show you. And I thank you so much for hanging with me. Looks like mixed media tags. That's where I stamped. Oh, and then, uh, oh, this was from um, Katie's class, little Sizzix pencil. And that was that masking tag, or that um, tape to hold your dies. All right. So, what am I going to show you? All right. So if you watched my last video, um, it was kind of a short one compared to these, of course, that um, kind of my little personal journey of creativations because all my filming and all my time was with Erin. That's what I was there for, to help her so she could get more content for everybody else. And, oh my gosh, she does a phenomenal job. Um, the questions that she asks... The, um, her personality, I mean, people want to talk to her, people want to share their products, people want to explain things. And um, anyway, so go check her out. You know, it gives you all the creativation stuff, um, Spellbinders. It shows their new um, stuff, never been seen before. Sizzix has new stuff. Um, Picket Fences has new stuff. Um, Arteza. I mean, a lot of companies, that's where they debut it is at Creativations. And so there was a lot of good shows, a lot of good stuff uh, being shown. Um, and then also probably here in a week or so, I'm guessing, uh, depends on how busy Erin is. There's a lot of filming that I did that she will um, edit and put it all together. And that's the, um, a big piece of it is the new, the showcase of new products for the different companies. So I showed a lot of that stuff. All right, so all that being said, I, I met wonderful people that I know is, they're going to be lifelong friends now. Um, Eileen Hull is one of them. She is a hoot. We've had dinner. We talked. We, oh, just wonderful. She's a designer for Sizzix. Um, she does all kinds of things on her own. Um, I'll talk more about her later too as, as time goes on because I have, I think, all the dies that has her name on it. They're the bigs dies. Um, you know, all kinds of books and um, little flips and folds things. Um Katie Pertite, 49 and Market. Um, where's all my notes here? Let me let me look here. Because I know I'm going to leave people out, even if I look at my notes. Let me see here. Um, of course, Ed with Stencil One. Um, Catherine Pooler. The guys from Barely Arts Glue. Um, Rachel and Jessica that own um, Cherry on Top. I mean, these were, like I said, these are all people we had dinner together. Uh, we spent a lot of time together. It was just absolutely wonderful. And I was trying to find my notes here on some of these. Um, my roommates that are so very talented. Here, I'm looking through my notes here. Um, and then just people that I met just in between classes. And I, I mean, it just, you know, they've sent me messages since I've been home. They've wished me, you know, happy Easter. Did you make it home all right? Um, let me think. Um, Cassandra was one of my roommates. Like I said, mixed media. I'm going to put all their information below. Um, Lolly with Lolly Palooza. Amanda with Pear Blossom. Oh my gosh. Pear Blossom has something super cool that's out. You need to watch Erin's um, video. I'm hoping we can get that in the store. Um, let's see. Chibi. That's the lights, you know, with the cards. Archon Mounts. Oh my gosh. They've got something brand new. The Japanese Paper Place, yeah, I've got some samples from them. Um, Toss, the paper, um, their paint palettes made of recycled paper that are super cool. I'm thinking schools, art classes, 
um, Olo markers. Oh my gosh. So one of the ladies with Olo markers, we get to talking and I, you know, said something about scrapbooks forever in Branson, Missouri. And she's like, oh my gosh, she has a home not very far from here. So she stays here part of the time and then another home part of the time. And so she's been coming to strap, scrapbooks forever in Branson for like 20 years. Oh my gosh. Yes. Olo markers. So anyway, I haven't tried Olo markers yet. I'm so excited to, um, Anyway, they're an alcohol marker that um, I'm just, I'm anxious to try. <laughs> oh, I could go on and on. Um, uh, I mean, uh, uh, like I said, notes after notes after notes. But go to Erin's channel and you'll see all of these. But, oh, Buttons Galore. They have all kinds of new stuff. Paper Roses. Um, bead Alon with all, for all kinds of your bead needs. Um, iFlex Wood. Oh my gosh. I'm ordering some of that. Anyway, it's wood pieces. It's strips of wood that you actually heat and mold it wood oh my gosh it's so super cool um what is it sashiata uh they're an ink tech company really cool markers um fiber castell of course um uh, met a great lady from the kansas city area and it's called raw w uh, r a w um and it's raw arts paints and she's a woman of color she has her own paint line and is phenomenal. This was her first time at Creativations and check her out. Um, fabric Editions, uh, that was, oh my gosh, they started out with fabrics and now they have these kits that you um, knit, crochet. Um, what's the, you take the fibers and you poke them into the uh, piece of material. I don't know what that's called, but they have all that stuff. And oh, it was phenomenal. It was so bright and so cheery. It was the prettiest place there in the, in the whole, um, in the whole place. Um, of course, Lindy's gang, All in Create. Oh my gosh, let me just take a moment. All in Create was there and they were set up to next to Ed at Stencil One. And I kept going by there just drooling because I love All in Create. Uh, Katie Sue Designs, um, Maker Flow, all kinds of resin. Um, oh my gosh, PBO Paints, Arteza. Oh my gosh, just on and on and on. Anyway, so you, you, Go, just go check out Aaron's stuff. That's that's all I can say. All right, this is running too long. I gotta, I could talk forever. You know me. I could talk and talk and talk. Okay, so two more things to show you quickly. So one friend that I made that I went in as a huge fan. I, I will, I, I still am. There's no doubt about that. But came out as friends, and we spent time together. And Aaron has a video dedicated just for this person. So you need to check her out. And I know some of you know her and love her, love her products. It was a great interview and she introduced lots of new stuff. Lisa Horton. I love Lisa Horton. I just got in some things from HSN from her and meeting her for the first time. I mean, that's, I was starstruck. She's from the UK and she is an absolute doll. So it was our last night there in New Orleans. And we were down in the lobby, which was a huge lobby. We were down at the lobby and there was some of us and we had some little hors d'oeuvres and things and talking and decide where we were going to go for dinner, and what we were going to do. And uh, Lisa and Miriam were over there and I'd spent time with them before. And anyway, and so we went over and uh, I went over and we visited for, I don't know, probably an hour. And so we're talking and she says, there's something I want to give you. Well, first she said something about, they, you know, they packed up and there was things that they couldn't fit in their suitcase. Well, a lot of that happens. I mean... They have a post office or FedEx or I don't know, whatever UPS place on site, because that's how a lot of them got their stuff in sending their stuff back to their companies because they can't, they can't fly with it. They can't, you know, they've got to send it somehow. So she said, well, there's things that wouldn't fit in our suitcase. I said, oh, you're like everybody else going to have to mail things back. And she said, no, I brought it for you. And I just about fell out. I mean, this was like, I, I mean, I just speechless. So this was my bag of goodies. So this is, and like I said, you got to go check out Erin's video. Um, cause she is just a, she's just a hoot. Let me tell you. Oh my gosh. She's a lovely lady. So this is the magnetic cutting and blending mat. So this is something I believe that's new and I do have her, um, scoreboard coming and it's a lot more than a scoreboard. Anyway, I have that and some other products coming from, from Lisa. Yes, I know. I know, I know, I know. This was like one of the highlights. This was probably the, 
ah moment. So anyway, this was just a little stencil. Oh, I know I haven't I haven't even got to pet this very much. I've just been oh. So we know Lisa Horton. We love 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 her 3D embossing folders. So this is a wood panel. This is leaves, of course, big beautiful leaves, and then flowers but not just an embossing folder but it has a die with it so you can emboss it color it whatever you're going to do and then cut it out and pop it up you can even cut out different pieces you know fussy cut out little pieces then it has stencils that match layering stencils and this one has how many one two three four five six stencils so emboss it color it with your stencils and then cut it out or do one, the other, all the together, all, all together, whatever your little heart desires. So this one, Lilies of the Valley. This is the background. This one is just the embossing folder. And then here is the layering stencils. And they all have a lot of stencils. And then this one, this is in pieces because it has dies to cut it out and stencils to cut it, color it. And this one, Lily of the Valley die and, and embossing folder. I actually have two of these. You know what that means. Mm -hmm. And then it has the stencils to color it. And I'll show you her whole system. And then beautiful tall daisies also with dies and stencils. Oh, I mean, it's like the heavens opened up. I mean, I could not believe this. So as we're sitting there and visiting and everything, and she's like, are you on Facebook? And I said, yes. And she pulls it up and finds me and does a friend request. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I mean, it's like, you know, like Elvis or the Garth Brooks or the whatever of the crafting world. She just, ah, uh, or the Reba McIntyre of the crafting world. <laughs> oh my goodness. But anyway, there were so, I mean, all the products were neat. All of this is, is super cool and everything. But the main thing was the people. I mean, like I said, I just, I can't tell you all the wonderful people that I met. I, it's got to all soak in. I've got to chill out and get my notes together. And anyway, I'll be linking lots of people below on number one and number two videos here. And I'll be adding to, um, as soon as I find out more, you know, my cards, I've got to empty my purse and, and I have my little book here that my roommate made me. And then I just started shoving stuff in here. This is Cassie that actually made the little book. This is, that's some of her artwork, which she is phenomenal. And then, you know, stickers. And then here's Sarah. And paintable pictures. Oh, this is coming soon too. You actually buy this kit. You download a, uh, you scan the QR code. You, you download a picture of your pet. Within seconds, it gives you a paint by number image. And you print it off of your printer. And then it has all the paints and everything you need in there. And you paint by number your animal. I did that with Luigi and oh my gosh, this is coming this week too. Uh, Lindy's gang. There's, um, this is a little origami piece that I picked up at one of the places. And then, um, there's a big campaign by Arteza, um, against AI with, with good reason. And the interview, he explains all that. This is one of the Japanese paper companies. Let life surprise you. Anyway, it's a little junk journal, little tag or um, bookmark. Um, anyway, just all kind of keep painting. That's R and F. I mean, just all kinds of things I wanted to keep in here anyway. So I have lots of business cards, lots of stuff I have to go through and I'll be linking all kinds of stuff because these are wonderful people, very talented that I've learned so much from and learning so much. And I've got to like, let all this sink in and I've got to go watch them and support them. And, and I've got to get to work and start using all this wonderful stuff. And I'll be sharing some of this with you guys too. So last but not least, a quickie. Here is my badge that I wore all week building creative partnerships Aaron Reed makes creativations and then you got to pick out and then this little QR code that they scanned it when I got you know went into all the parties and the uh, classes and everything which I thought was really cool so these little ribbons you got to pick out different ones and then but you know so I had a new member our team rocks somebody and runs with scissors <laughs> so and then here is some of my pins and here's more of my pins that I collected. I mean, these are super cool. There's mine. Oops, wrong way. And I'll be sharing with you guys some of my pins. I mean, these are super cool. Anyway, so 
that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just holler. I hope you hung out with me and I, I appreciate you so, so, so much. And thank you to everybody that went over to Aaron and commented during the live and stuff that meant the world to me. So thanks again. And I will see you really soon. Bye for now.